It is the 16th of the 9th, 2013. This is your radioactive reality. Any news? Fukushima may be inundated by typhoon on Monday. Center of storm forecast to pass over nuclear plant. Over 15 inches of rain predicted in the region. Flood and mudslide warning issued for Pacific Coast. So if the inundated ground wasn't bad enough at Fukushima Daiichi, uh, here comes a typhoon to make things all better. Fukushima ra radioactive plume will continue to hit shores of the United States and Canada for many decades. Impossible to remove molten core for hundreds of years, if ever. Flow of contamination from plant will, virtually, will be virtually impossible to stop. Now these uh, coriums have broken through containment and are in the environment and are leaching directly into the Pacific Ocean. How they're going to stop these things is beyond me or a lot of people. Wall Street Journal, they appear to be losing the battle at a uh, festering Fukushima plant. Leaks sprouting above and below ground. Response is frantic, desperate, and dangerously haphazard. The insanity continues. Fukushima reactor cores may have melted through to China syndrome, may have, and went into the earth itself, includes over 1,500 pounds of plutonium. I'm guessing the number is quite a bit more than that. Japan is clearly living in denial, says Fukushima investigation chairman. Plant recently took sharp turn for the worse. Nuclear experts doubt if melted fuel can be removed. TEPCO admits to reporting false radiation levels for nearly two years at Fukushima. TEPCO admits to reporting false radiation levels for nearly two years at Fukushima. Law professor damages from Fukushima radiation may be much larger than we expect. Of course, they've been lying to us the whole time. They just admitted it again. Uh, Japan's Olympic speech backfires. Headline, credibility of Prime Minister's mes message to oversee is shaking. Contaminated water control running astray. I doubt if they do get the 2020 Olympic bid, but why would you want to go there? TEPCO advisor, Fukushima contaminated water problem will go on until all three molten fuel cores are somehow removed. And they don't know how they're going to do that. Company is simply not capable of handling extremely difficult issue, and they're continuing to push for new nuclear power plants all around the world. Warring discovery of Fukushima plant, radioactivity level sharply rising, 30-fold increase since Sunday. All this with a typhoon overhead. Never-ending disaster of Fukushima, Japan is stum stumbling helplessly from one crisis to the next. And again, it's snowballing on them. All these little quick fixes are falling apart. Uh, they're putting it together with duct tape and bailing wire for... Pfft. Fukushima melt of fuel could have burned through the floor and now into the earth underneath the reactors. Uh, if you've been following this, of course, you already know that. Senior official admits Fukushima plant, quote, out of control. TEPCO then claims he meant to say something different. And finally, energy uh, analyst, concern of a reverse tsunami of radioactivity now moving back into the Pacific from the Fukushima plant. Nuclear catastrophe remains out of control and hemorrhaging. And you got to remember, what do hurricanes do to the seafloor underneath the oceans they travel across? They turn it all up. They turn it all up. So all that crap that is off the coast of Japan, the tsunami debris, the radioactive material, all these other things are getting stirred up by this typhoon and pushed back onto the land. Uh, but don't worry, folks. No immediate danger. Over to uh, Fukushima Diary Daily. All the tanks in all the tanks leaned in the tank area with land substances. Um, so basically, the, the, the ground's so saturated, all these foundations are starting to lean. And uh, with the water tanks, that's not a good thing. And you got to remember, again, they didn't put tie rods into a lot of these foundations. They just poured straight concrete, so they're already cracking and buckling under the weight and stress. Uh, steam observed coming up on the top of reactor number three once again. Uh, we've had radioactive steam leaks off the the number three reactor for quite a while now and, and again it's ongoing and this typhoon's not going to make anything 
uh, better at all. A tank area dam overflowed due to typhoon rain, and again, they're already having problems with all this extra water. And uh, they're using sandbag to stop leaking contaminated water outflow due to typhoon rain. They're going to try to keep it in the bowl. Well, uh, that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, uh, please let me know. Attach your comments or videos below. There's a lot more going on here uh, than I'm reporting, so I encourage you to look into it. Enjoy what you can, everybody. I sure am. Thanks.